Hey guys, my name is Val Serrano. I am a Venezuelan violist. I'm 19 years old. And today, I'm taking you through a day in the life as a student at Interlocking Arts Academy. I am a postgrad at the Academy, a postgraduate. And that means that I've already graduated high school and I'm coming back for kind of like a gap year, but not really a gap year. I'm still doing work and getting credits and I'm gonna get a diploma at the end of the year. You're probably wondering why I decided to take a gap year or this extra year here at Interlochen. And you know, it's a long story, but I came for my senior year. That was a year that I was supposed to be applying for colleges, but I decided not to because I already knew I was gonna stay here for an extra year. And yeah, I think it was a really good idea to just be able to enjoy what Interlochen had to offer. Meet all these wonderful people, like get to experience different things. This place is just amazing. It has so many opportunities for young artists like us. And I think I really enjoyed that and I just let my mind kind of like get adjusted to the environment and you know, to the school itself and then this year, I was just focused on doing my applications. I already knew how the routine would work with my classes and everything. I just thought it would give me more preparation for my college auditions, and it certainly did. Now I'm going to attend one of the top conservatories in the country, so I'm really happy that I decided to take, you know, just a year to myself and keep growing and keep developing my technique and keep developing my musicality and really use all the resources that Interlochen had to offer. So. Yeah, today I'm just gonna show you what my day looks like usually. Every day is different. Especially today, there were a few changes with the schedule and whatnot because we had a guest artist come in. I also had Tech Week for An American in Paris, which you'll see. It's a really fun time. And I just thought I would put this out there so that anyone who is considering applying to Interlochen knows what it looks like and um, just get a little bit of insight. So, hope you enjoy. Um, it is currently... Alexa, what time is it? Alexa, what time is it? The time is 11.20 a.m. 11.20 a.m. And I have like literally no time to get to my next thing. I took a really long shower. But anyways, yeah. So my first class doesn't start until 11.30. Oh my god! And today I did sleep until 10.30. Um, I woke up at 10.30 because last night I had a really, just like a really tiring, exhausting day. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to sleep in today. Yeah, I usually don't have to wake up until like close to my first class. But sometimes I do, especially when I was doing college applications, because um, that's the time that I would use to practice or to like do homework or whatever. But like today I didn't have any homework to do. I didn't have any. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to sleep in. And I was really exhausted from yesterday because... This week is tech week for an American in Paris. Yeah, my first class starts at 11.30. It's usually, we call it string hour. Don't look at my stuff. We call it string hour because that's the time that we use to have technique class. Well, mostly string hour is for a quartet, for our quartet rehearsals. On Mondays, we usually have technique class with our teachers or just like, it's just like a, like a studio class. But this week we have a guest artist coming, Martin Beaver. He is one of the violin professors at the Colburn School, the conservatory, which is where I'm gonna go in the fall. And he's giving master classes, performances, and yeah, all of that's happening today. So we're not having quartet rehearsal today. I would have shown you that. Maybe I can show you on Monday. Nah, I wanna keep recording on Monday, bro. This is too much work. Okay, no, but. Oh my god, look at this piece of hair with a bunch of foundation in it. Ah. Okay. Crap, I think I'm really late. Ah! It's fine though. Um, yeah, so I'll show you when we're there. Bye. It's a rainy day today. One thing about interlocking is that the weather you can never predict. Like one day, it will literally be very, very sunny and nice, and the temperature is super nice, and then the next day it's snowing. So. So this is a Froelich building. This is where all the pianos and the percussions are, um, percussion instruments are, um, but it's connected to the music building over there. So I'll show you in a bit. We have this big hall with like harps, pianos, and these are some of the piano studios, as well as like, this is where my accompanist is, right there. Anyways, um, yeah, practice rooms. And over there, it's just like a big L. So it's like this and then like that. Yeah. And then over here, we just came from those doors. 
This is the next part of the L. This is where some of the um, classical singer um, studios are, as well as over there. It's our conductors, like band and orchestra conductors. Right here, we have a master class right now, so I'll show you in a bit. And think about a faster speed of bow. And indeed, the inconvenience of having a bigger retake there is actually... So I'm about to enter the concourse, which is where we usually have our academic classes and where the library is. Down rotunda. This is like an exhibition of the um, visual artists. Um, we have some pictures in here. And here is the library. It's closed right now, but it's really beautiful inside. is the LA Rotunda. I think that's where they have social studies classes like history and all of that. Before it used to be like there was a cone right here and all of this was filled up with art and then right here too and then there was like like the space for you to walk in it was like a lot tinier so but I'm glad they changed it because now people are able to are more accessible to walk it's more accessible to walk through here so and then this is the last rotunda which is the mott rotunda and i think this is where they have english classes let me see if you can so it's like a little like circle so it's like around and then yeah so this is stone this is where we eat every day so this is what my foot looks like today they have a bar with like a bunch of stuff in it um, like a salad bar and then there's also like the cheese bar and the bread yeah, pretty much anything you can think of. The side is like cereals and milk and gluten-free stuff. And then we have the coffee bar right here. Okay, now I'm on my way to my lesson, um, and I just have to show you guys this. So this is my teacher's studio. We changed her paper to say Coach Garrick. Well, not us, but like a couple of us. And then this is a hippo chair. <laughs> and then this is viola parking. Yeah. And this is her studio, but I don't think she's here. Yeah, she's not here. Look, we put up balloons and stuff because we made a holiday for her called Renee Day. <laughs> she isn't here, but her studio oh, her studio is open. So I'm just gonna come in and warm up. Well, 
Okay, it is 8.20 and we are headed, well, not we, there's no one here. <laughs> I'm headed to Corson Auditorium um, to be in the second act in the pit for An American in Paris. So that's gonna be fun. I'll see you guys there. <laughs> Just got out of American in Paris. It's currently 10:30 something. Um, I'm headed to my dorm and just get ready to sleep. And yeah, that was my day. That was a fun day. Um, it was really cool. I loved seeing the master classes and the performances, and just getting to play such amazing music with an American in Paris and all those amazing theater majors. Like, it's incredible, and I love being able to collaborate with so many amazing artists at this school. Um, so I hope that you like this video and if you're a high schooler, I hope you're considering applying here. This is not a sponsored video, okay? So it, it, I just really love this school and I think it's really great for those who are thinking of pursuing a career in music or in the arts professionally. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, just remember to comment down below. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Follow my Instagram. My Instagram is where I'm most active. It's Val plays Viola. Um, and then, yeah, that's it. Okay, bye.